Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Gonna read through the full article. There's a link in the description. This is, you know, basically a very political subject. Uh, I am trying to avoid politics on this channel, but you know, kind of dabble in it a little bit every now and then, I suppose. I find this topic interesting, so I'm gonna make a video in regards to it. 27 shot, six killed during a weekend. Just a weekend in Chicago, which is run by this mayor here. She's been running it for quite a while, Mayor Laurie Lightfoot. And um, Breitbart, this publication, regularly publishes articles exactly like this, reporting how many shootings there have been in the previous weekend. I don't think they do it necessarily every week, every Monday. Um, but uh, they do do it a lot, and it's normally a number of 20 or higher. So this time it's 27. 27 people were shot, six of them fatally, during the weekend in Mayor Laurie Lightsfoot, Democrat, troubled Chicago. Uh, 18 people were shot, three of them fatally, Friday into Sunday morning in Chicago. The overall number of shooting victims rose to 27 by Monday morning with three additional shooting fatalities. One of the additional shooting deaths was that of a 27-year-old man who was found on the sidewalk dead in the 2000 block of West 35th Street on Friday night. Another additional shooting death was a 40-year-old who was fatally shot while standing outside in the 300 block of of South Kilbourne Avenue at around 3.25 a.m. Sunday morning. A 61-year-old woman was found dead in an apartment in the 1000 block of West Monroe Avenue at around 8.30 p.m. Sunday. She appeared to have a gunshot wound to the side of the head. Um, and that's really the extent of the article there. It, it, the article does remind us that there have been 143 homicides in Chicago so far in the year 2022. We've not even halfway through April yet. Um, so there is that article. We don't have too many details in regards to the specific cases. We've got uh, some basic details in regards to a few. Um, so it's very hard for us to, to make a total judgment, but... My goodness, Chicago. My goodness. My goodness, Chicago. Come on, America. Are you not better than this? Chicago, are you not better than this? This is, like I say, um, the Breitbart publication publish articles or reports or such on this subject most weeks. Uh, and they've done that for, I mean, I, I mean, I'm going off the top of my head, but I think they've been doing that for a good couple of years. A good couple of years. Where's the improvement, Mayor Laurie Lightfoot? Where is the improvement? To be honest with you, to be honest with you, I do blame the mayor in this case, but I do feel that perhaps I shouldn't. I mean, we could look at the mayor of New York, Eric Adams. He started in January. Look, is he making mistakes? Yes. I mean, we're just seeing time and time again um, people being released. He's seemingly, he's not done enough to change the existing system and the existing system seemingly is too weak if uh, a man can run up to a woman in the subway station and attack her with by by rubbing pardon me rubbing feces in her face that's what happened just what six weeks ago and then he was let out like i don't know after a couple of days or something maybe even later that day it's not just um it's not just this mayor, Laurie Lightfoot, that is ridiculous. Uh, there are other ridiculous mayors too. They are doing the wrong thing. They're not being strict enough. They're not being harsh enough. They're not being firm enough with their sentencing. Um, there is that. Um, but at the same time, it kind of seems a bit of a lost cause, to be honest. A bit of a lost cause. Seemingly, there are too many people in, let's say, Chicago, we could say New York, but certainly in Chicago, there's too many people, I presume, 
most would be gang members or gang affiliated that would be my presumption could be wrong but there are too many people in chicago that are more than happy to shoot and to kill seemingly it looks like it's a lost system i'm pretty black pilled as it were i uh don't hold too much hope for the future certainly not of chicago i mean it's where again i'm just repeating myself at this point so i'll wrap up in a second but where's the improvement where's the improvement if there's no improvement over an extended period of time and there hasn't been over an extended period of time then what do you do then well i think the answer would be you do something else you make drastic changes you go okay well this hasn't been working so fuck this we are now going to do something else what should that something else be well i don't know but my gut feeling would be be incredibly stricter in regards to law enforcement that would be my gut feeling i'm not saying that that's the perfect solution it's not be a very high cost to the taxpayer a lot of people will be incarcerated that's not an overly good thing in itself um but i mean what can you do you've got to do something and what they're doing at the moment isn't working i'll wrap things up there um again there's a link in the description this is an interesting topic so i'll probably carry on reporting making reports like this for chicago perhaps other cities i'd like to know more about what's going on in los angeles and atlanta as well um but anyway i'll wrap things up here uh, if you do like this type of content, please show me some encouragements, a like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. I'm trying to pump out multiple videos every single day. Um, it does overwhelm me a little bit at times, um, but, uh, you know, I just got to push myself to do it, you know. That's cool, that's cool. Um, so uh, I'll thank you for your time and uh, take care, guys. Take care, especially if you're in a city like Chicago. Stay indoors, lock yourself indoors. Thanks.